So you've been in the Philippines longer than six months and now you have to get an exit clearance. And if it's the first time you've ever done it or you've done it before and you're just looking for a refresher, this video is going to simplify it and help you understand all of the current requirements as of November, actually December of 2022. And uh, yeah, I'm going to basically take a couple of minutes to make your life a lot easier because I'm doing this right now and I basically completed it today and I'm gonna basically share everything I did while it's still fresh up here so that I can help you do this process a lot more quickly and easily and uh, yeah, so let's dive right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is your tourist card, the ACR card, your passport, and uh, I'll tell you where to get these two by two inch white background photos. It's in the same place as where you're gonna file the paperwork. So we've got one photocopy of your passport bio page right here, there's that. And don't worry, like I said, I'm gonna tell you exactly where to go so you can do this all in one day in like an hour, all right, or less. So that's the first thing you're gonna need. You need a copy of both sides of your ACR card. That's what you see on this page right here. The next thing you need is your receipt from when you, uh, for your visa. So this is certificate of uh, residence for temporary visitors, da, da, da. This is the most recent, this is my most recent visa extension. So basically a photocopy of your latest tourist extension. That's the next thing you need right here. Then you need a photocopy of when the, the last Philippines stamp in your passport. So basically it says here, photocopy of visa stamp when you uh, last arrived in the Philippines. That's the next thing you're gonna need. After that, you need uh, to print out your flight ticket slash flight confirmation for when you're leaving the Philippines. I just did the first and second page, so it shows the amounts right here. Okay, the next thing you need here is you need a, you need a photocopy of the receipts you got when you extended your visa, but also the one that shows alien certificate of registration where you paid uh, for that. So it has to say that. So you also need this document right here. Ayala Circuit Mall, uh, the main entrance is where, it, this is in Makati, that's where you can go to get this all knocked out in about an hour. Um, you go onto the top floor, that's where the Bureau of Immigration is and they're pretty quick. So uh, I'm in the, in the interest of saving you a lot of time and just giving you the useful details, I am going to uh, think, think for a second what I wanna tell you before I tell you. Okay, so one of the requirements is you need four of these two by two inch white background photos. So in the Ayala Malls circuit, right by the main entrance, on the first floor, there's a place, I believe it's called Picture Studio that I went today and it took 10 minutes and 180 pesos to complete this requirement. It's, it's on the first floor of Ayala Circuit Mall, right next to Shopwise, which is a giant grocery store and uh, right past uh, a McDonald's as of December, 2022. So you can get that knocked out for that requirement. So to get your photocopies for all of these things completed at Ayala Circuit Mall, there's lots of places you can do it at. I went to the National Bookstore, I believe it's called. It's like a national bookstore. It's, that's also right past BPI uh, and right past McDonald's on the first floor of the main entrance of Ayala Circuit Mall. So you can get the photocopies done uh, right there for all this stuff. I also went up to the third level floor to there's a place called Chill something. It was like, I think it was called Chill Lab. Or I'll, I'll double check it and tell you. So, but I, I emailed them my Philippines airline ticket and they were able to print that out for me. So that's where I got that done without having to go back to my apartment. I'm just gonna put my hand over these giant pieces of paper right here so you can't see my personal information, but there's basically two more giant pieces of paper you have to fill out. And I'm just gonna tell you exactly what's on these pieces of paper so you can understand what you'll need and how long it'll take you to fill out these pieces of paper. Okay, so you get these two pieces of paper at the immigration office in Ayala Circuit Mall and they hand these to you when you get there. So. Basically, all you need to know is they want to collect your your legal name, uh, where you're currently living in the Philippines for an apartment you're renting, etc. Uh, they just want to know your date of birth, your citizenship slash nationality. They want to know the reason why you're leaving the Philippines and they want to know the date that you're coming back if you're coming back. They want to know, um, what does that say? They want to know where you're going when you leave the Philippines. They want to know how long you're going to be in that country that you're going to. They want to know your passport number. And then on the second piece of paper for your ARCR, your ACR card, they want to know what type of visa you have. So if you're a tourist like me, it's a tourism visa. And then the card number, once again, they want your legal name, your date of birth, your country of birth, your marital status. I'm, you know, if you're married or not, the place you got your passport, the country, the country you got your passport from, the date of issuance of your passport, your passport number, uh, the, the last date of arrival when you got to the Philippines, like the last time they stamped it, your passport. Um, your contact number, phone number for Philippines, and once again, your residential address in the Philippines. So it took me like 15 minutes to fill that stuff out because I, 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 I write slowly so I don't make a mistake so I don't have to redo it. But uh, so 
yeah, so all in all, there are literally 10 pieces of paper or something like that. It was like 10 requirements. So one photocopy of the passport bio page, one photocopy of your visa stamp and your, your passport, one photocopy of the latest arrival stamp, which I think is pretty much the same thing. Uh, one photocopy of the ACR iCard, uh, one photocopy of the latest tourist visa extension, do, 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 do. one photocopy of the airline ticket, and then four pieces of two by two inches picture with white background. And then there's more requirements if you have dependents like kids, or if you have a downgraded visa of some sort. I uh, don't really know what context they're talking about there, but uh, yeah. So the place to go is Ayala Circuit Mall Picture Studio to get the pictures on the, on the ground floor, National Bookstore if you need access to the photocopying stuff, Oh, here's some more really useful information for you. So make sure you go and do this only seven days before you leave the country. If you get there like 10 days before you leave the country, they're going to say, sorry, sir, or sorry, ma'am, come back seven days or sooner before you're going to leave. So I, you know, so for example, if you're leaving on the 20th of the month, uh, go there on the 13th of the month or the 14th of the month, etc. But don't go there on the 12th of the month. That's one thing to know. I was charged an extra 1,400 pesos on December 2nd, 2022 for uh, extra. Uh, when I extended my tourism visa one month, they charged me 1,400 extra. So be prepared for that because it was past the six month mark. And then um, you have to also pay an extra 1,000 pesos again if you want their express service at this location at Ayala Circuit Mall. So I paid a lot of money today, 3,700 pesos for a one month extension because I wanted the express service, which basically means express service is like, they do everything right there for you in 10 to 15 minutes. If you want the normal service, you have to leave your passport with them and you have to come back three days later to save 1000 pesos. And since I live, since it cost me 500 pesos to go around trip to go there and back, it makes literally no sense for me to not get the express service to pay the extra 1000 and save, you know, 18, 17 or $18 or whatever. So yeah, don't go seven days before, don't go like eight days before, make sure you're going seven days before your departure date. Uh, you know, make sure you have all the, the documentation so that uh, everything I covered in this video and um, yeah, and then that, that'll hopefully make everything work out well for you. So hopefully this video saved you some serious time. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That would be so fantastic. It would help me out as a YouTube creator. If you want to subscribe to the channel for more information like this and other great stuff regarding Philippines and offshore stuff, visas, etc. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Justin Spencer. You rock. I'll catch you on some other vlogs. Bye for now.